Cindy by labial stops. In this video, we're going to be looking at a set of phonetic data, and we're going to be focusing on specific sounds, specific phones, to determine if they are allophones of the same phoneme or allophones of different phonemes. So we're going to be focusing on bilabial stops in Cindy. So the first thing we want to do is just simply identify those words that have bilabial stops in them. So number one has the regular released P. Number six has an aspirated P. Number nine, 10, and 11 all have the voiced B. Okay, so now that we've identified the words that have those sounds, now what we wanna do is look at the environment. And by environment, we mean, in this case, at least to start with, we mean the immediate environment. So what comes immediately before the sounds and what comes immediately after the sounds. So looking at them, we just simply write down where they occur. So we'll start with number one, and we see that that pa comes at the beginning of a word. That's what that pound symbol means and immediately before a schwa. This little line here means that that's where our target occurs. So in this case, the p. In the second one, we've got the aspirated p. And again, we see that the aspirated p occurs at the beginning of a word and before schwa. And then finally, when we look at the environments for the three instances of b, we see that it occurs at the beginning of a word and before schwa. And that's just a matter then of listing their distribution. And the next question that we need to ask is whether this is overlapping or complementary. Well, it's overlapping, right? So they all occur in the same place. So it's clearly not complementary distribution, which means that you don't find them in the same environments but we do, so it's overlapping. And then the next thing we wanna look for when we see that it's overlapping is a minimal pair. Or in this case, actually, we're looking for a minimal triplet. So remember, a minimal pair is two different words that differ only in one sound. So what we're looking for is a set of, in this case, not a pair, but a triplet, where the only difference between the three is that one's got a p in it, one has a p in it, and one has a b in it. And in order for it to be a minimal pair or minimal triplet, they each have to mean different things. So meaning is relevant here because what that then means is that it's contrastive. So let's see whether it is contrastive. And in fact, we do find a minimal triplet that each of them can occur at the beginning of a word followed by anu. And moreover, they mean different things. So the one with the regular released P, panu, means leaf. The one with the aspirated P, panu, is the hood of a snake. And the one with the voiced B is banu, meaning forest. Therefore, they are in contrastive distribution, meaning that these are allophones of three different phonemes.